uh, our harmonic sequence, our harmonic numbers. But what we have also noticed is that we can track the z term z Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. Papa is back. B A double C with some interesting stuff, some interesting functions, poly gamma function right here. I know you recognize this bitch boy. And yeah, we are going to jump right in. Today we want to calculate a formula for our poly gamma function at integer values of z. Meaning for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Something like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> Sesame Street. Yeah, maybe you get the reference. So, before we really get started, I would like to take a look at a simple example. For example, z being equal to 3, okay? So, poly gamma of 3. We can also um, basically with this formula derive the derivative of the gamma function at 3, meaning we can just solve for gamma prime of 3 right here by multiplying the whole formula by gamma of 3. It's not equal to 0. We can do that. But also, what do we get on the other side? Well, if we take a look at this formula, why not plug in the 3 everywhere? So minus 1 third minus Euler macaroni constant plus a sexy sum running from, well, n equals to 1 to infinity of 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 3. And here's the basic strategy we are going to use. We can break sums up into partial sums, meaning we are going to break this sum up into a sum running from n equals to 1 to our very set value that we have plugged into here, plus a sum running from z plus 1, so n being equal to 4 in this case, to infinity. Okay, we're going to break it up this way and then we can write stuff out. And then I want you guys to notice what is actually going to cancel out in the process. So we have minus 1 third, minus Euler macaroni constant, plus. And I'm going to write out this whole sum that we, that we have here, that, this whole sum sum. So we are going to start at 1. So this is going to give us 1 minus, okay, this is 1 quarter in this case. And then we have plus 1 half minus 1 fifth. Okay, and then we are going to get plus 1 third. So we are already at the highest point of our partial sum right here. Minus 1 sixth. <laughs> Okay, so this has been our first partial sum and then we can actually take a look at our sum that we are going to get here plus the sum right here, which is nothing but I'm going to write out a few terms. Okay, we're actually going to get, we're going to start at 4, so this is 1 quarter minus 1 seventh plus 1 fifth minus 1 eighth plus da da da. Okay, I hope you can see where this came from, just writing stuff out. And I have put it like this because, well, there's going to be the punchline in a second. Now let's see what is actually going to cancel out on those partial sums. Well, obviously, all the high terms are going to cancel out. So next up, after one fifth, we are going to get one six. Okay, so this right here is going to cancel out. That's the additive inverse. Also, we had this one fifth right here being canceled out and this one quarter canceling out with this and this. In this process right here, after the 1 6th term, we are also getting the 1 7th term from this one right here. So this is going to cancel out and this is going to cancel out. This right here is actually a telescoping series in the end. Also, we have minus 1 third right here. So this is going to cancel out with this. Overall, everything is going to cancel out in the limit, except for minus gamma plus 1 plus 1 half. Okay, and if you would use 4 as our set value, you're going to notice that this thing right here, I'm going to write it in different terms, is nothing but sum running from, well, n equals to 1 to 2 in this case. But 2, I'm going to put it in parentheses, it's nothing but 3 minus 1, z minus 1 in this case. I'm, I'm having something here. <laughs> 
um, and this is 1 over n in this case. And we know what this thing right here actually is. This is nothing but our harmonic series of z minus 1, in this case 2, 3 minus 1. So overall, we can express our poly gamma of 3 as nothing but, well, negative gamma plus some kind of harmonic series that we have right here. Okay, so this is actually pretty cool. And we can do the same thing here. So we are going to take a look at this whole sum right here a little bit more abstractly for some random integer z and then we are basically done. I'm not really sure if you can find a more rigorous argument for what we are going to do next, but yeah, just keep in mind that this partial sum that we are going to have, which goes to infinity, is kind of a telescoping sum and we are going to write it out term by term and here's our strategy once again. We are going to break this sum up into a sum running from n equals to 1 to z and then we are going to add the rest of this thing to it, the tail basically. So from n equals to z plus 1 to nothing but, well, infinity. We are going to break it up like this and see what we actually get. Here we are going to get negative 1 over z minus gamma and then plus. Now let us see what we are going to get in here. Okay, we are going to get 1 minus 1 over 1 plus z plus 2, uh, 1 over 2, so 1 half, minus 1 over 2 plus z and so on. We are going to go up until 1 over z, so plus dot 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 plus 1 over z, this is the highest term in our partial sum, minus 1 over z plus z is just 2z. Okay, we are pretty much z right here with this 2 times z. <laughs> now we are going to go for the next part for this partial sum and I'm going to put it here just so you can see way more easily what is going to cancel out in the process. We're going to start at z plus 1. So this is 1 over 1 plus z. I'm going to put it like this, okay? Let's um, put it like this, 1 plus z instead of z plus 1. In the real numbers our ed addition is a billion, so we can do this. Okay, and then we are going to get minus in this case. So this is going to give us 1 over 2z plus 1, okay? 1 plus 2z, I'm going to put it like this. Positive, now we are going to get z plus 2 or 2 plus z, whatsoever. Negative, 1 over, our n now is z plus 2, so this makes 2z plus 2. So 2 plus 2 times z, plus dot dot dot, up until, and now you can break this up into even more of a partial sum, for example, to the partial sum of 2 times z in this case. And then we are going to add a sum running from n equals to 2 times z plus 1, to infinity to it. And that's why I said I don't know if there's a very rigorous argument which you can justify it with. There, there probably is, but I'm going to make it quite intuitive right here. So we are going to add stuff up until 1 over 2 times z to it. Okay? And then we are going to subtract 1 over 2 times z plus z is 1 over 3 times z. And then you can actually go on with this process. So I'm going to do one last iteration right here. So we are going to get positive. We are now at this partial sum. Positive 1 over, and you guessed it, we're going to start with this. 1 plus 2 over z. And then negative blah blah blah. Now let's see what actually cancels out. So we see this right here is going to cancel out with this thing right here. This thing right here is going to cancel out with this thing right here. Just what we did before with our pretty numerical example. Stuff is going to cancel out big time, but what else is going to cancel out? Well, then we are in our next iteration. This is going to cancel out with this thing right here. This is going to cancel out with the next row, you could say, with the next line. And then even more stuff is going to cancel out this, and then something here is going to cancel out in the process, leaving us with a sum. So everything is going to cancel out except for those terms. Negative 1 over z minus gamma plus a sum running from n equals to 1 to, well, in this case, z of nothing but um, 1 over n. 
Okay, so I hope this was quite intuitive for you guys. I still have to think about everything I do right here. I don't want to make any mistakes. And you see this thing right here is nothing but our harmonic series. And uh, our harmonic sequence, our harmonic numbers. But what we have also noticed is that we can track the Z, Z term out and cancel it with this one right here. So we are going to cancel this and this. And overall it's going to go to the Z minus one term. Overall, we are going to get negative gamma plus our harmonic numbers of z minus 1. And et voila, this is basically it. So you see, we have successfully decomposed it and our numerical example that we had before even fit with this more abstract, um, yeah, kind of way. So yeah, and like I said before, you can actually find out your gamma prime, then our gamma function differentiated with respect to z, at z being an, an integer and that's nothing but if you multiply both sides by it, you either have gamma of z or gamma of z is the same thing as z minus 1 factorial times negative gamma plus our harmonic numbers. And yeah, there we go. If you want to make it even more pretty, you can transform z to being z plus 1, then you get that gamma prime of z plus 1 is nothing but, well, this is going to be gamma of z plus 1, which is nothing but z factorial times negative Euler macaroni constant plus harmonic numbers of z. But this is just playing around with integers and indices. I don't want to um, annoy you with this stuff. I just want to show you the um, yeah, the, the ways of writing stuff out. And yeah, this is quite an interesting and compact formula, which is highly enjoyable. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. If you did enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, and recommend the channel if you like. If you want to support the channel a bit more, buy those Euler's Formula t-shirts I created or other t-shirts, trivia stuff, trivia stuff. You, you just love the trivia stuff. And yeah, you can also support the channel on Patreon. And now until the next video, let's um, con continue the spiel I started a year back. Um, have a trap Bose Einstein condensed gases out of equilibrium day by Michiel. B B B I, I can't pronounce this. See ya.